And now to business. A fire outbreak occurred at the burning Kebi 330 KV power station in Algeria's northwest, a critical component of the regional grid on Thursday night. This incident follows a recent nationwide blackout triggered by fire outbreak and explosion sound observed on the Kainji Jebba 330 KV Line 2, impacting the Blue Face CVT and the Blue Face Line isolator of Kainji Jebba 330 KV Line 1, which was observed burning. The Minister of Power, Adibayo Adilabu, said fire had caused an explosion on a transmission line connecting the Kainji and Jebba power plants in north central Niger state, tripping the greed. And now joining us on the news is a financial analyst, Mukhtar Mohamed, the CEO, Ashir Dynamic Solutions. Thank you so much, Mukhtar, for joining us. My pleasure. All right, now, uh, this is the second time this incident is happening at the facility that belongs to the Transmission Company of Nigeria. The first led to a nationwide blackout, and this is also contributing uh, to that blackout. Is this economic sabotage or merely an accident? Well, I think uh, for, for says an economy so uh, that is for the security apparatus to, to, to look into uh, because economic crime is serious crime. And so I, I think uh, that should be looked into. But from where I'm sitting now, uh, from everything I'm saying, maybe it could be an, an, it could be an accident. Like your reports, uh, your report with uh, one of your guests of recently talking about climate change. So we are not uh, divorced from it also. I think, uh, I don't think it's an economic sabotage because it, uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's a generation company. So it's not a, uh, it, it just the uh, distribution companies that will see we're looking for funds or that. So for me, I think the government need to look at it and prove it, what is happening. All right. Now, uh, Mukhtar, you would also agree with me that um, in recent times, a lot of Nigerians have now begun to get used to a stable power supply and electricity. And uh, that's something they've been grateful for. But looking at the sudden disruption in power supply and, of course, the greed collapsing and, uh, you know, uh, catching on fire. Uh, do you think that this will have a lasting business on electricity supply, hence affecting businesses and the economy at large? You cannot take that away. It's already happening. Um, like you said, um, we it's not that we are enjoying 24 hours, but I think relatively we most businesses will begin to enjoy power between the rate of 14, 15, 10 hours. And residential area will enjoy up to 18 hours and some 22 hours, some 20 hours. So definitely it has an effect on not just the businesses, also the household, also knowing fully where the cost of um, powering your generator, either petrol generator or diesel generator generator. So it has a very strong impact. And for businesses, that will mean increasing their overhead costs. You can imagine what has happened to businesses and households when the power grid went up by 12.45 a.m. Uh, and to, to the, the most of those, those uh, grid was able, they were only able to restore it some in the afternoon, some late at night, some took over 24 hours. And when they were thinking that was over, the incident from the KV on came into being. So definitely it's affecting business. Uh, won't be able to give the statistic now of how much that I've got, but I can tell you it has cost a lot to Nigerian businesses and to the Nigerian economy, and not only that, to the households in Nigeria also. All right. Uh, now, the Minister of Power, Adebayo Adilabu, informed Nigerians of the initial fire. Do you think that we're expecting these kind of, more of this kind of transparency should, um, you know, something like this happen again, or should there be a development regarding the greed? Like I said, two ways, like you pointed out in your report, is either it's a sabotage. If it's not a sabotage, then it's an accident. And if not an accident, then you go to the natural disaster. Now, for the sabotage and the accident, we can prevent. For the natural disaster that has to do with climate change, we the one costing it, then we have to work on trying to stop that. So I think what the minister is saying, I, I expect there should be a thorough investigation of what has happened and make sure it doesn't happen, especially when it's among the two, but the economic sabotage. Or, 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 or the area of um, negligence on the, on the hands of the uh, 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 administrators. But for the climate change, it's a holistic ap uh, approach that Tango and Nigeria is, like, uh, is part of the climate change agenda. So I think um, the government should look at those things. If you look at it, then you begin to address it. But if you don't address it, then begin to see a lot of these happenings. Like you said, it could be economic sabotage, uh, which 
you can rule it out, especially when it comes to Nigeria, knowing that what it just happened from, from uh, in the country that there was total blackout, and here we are trying to settle that we have the cable. Is it something? Is, is something wrong? I mean, because they, they say when a baby cry in, in, in the when a baby say when a baby dies in the night, the witch cries. I mean the witch cries in the night, the baby dies in the morning. They say the witch, so we need to look at it. Okay, that's a very um, hilarious uh, illustration, but yeah, we get the point. Uh, also, um, finally, before we let you go, Mukhtar, now, thankfully, power has been res restored nationwide. Uh, so would we say that it's economical to have an inclusive greed that entails uh, power for the entire nation, or it's better to have mini greeds for sub-regions? It's, it's better to have mini grid, and I think that's what the new electrical bill, uh, bill that was passed on by the National Assembly is all about. So, and the president have signed it into law. It may take some time. It's state like Lagos can begin to say, look, we want to generate only for our uh, uh, central district, business district. And this mini grid will help because this will, will, will stop this uh, collapse. And again, even if they are connected to the national grid, then if you have a collapse, then you have a backup in the mini grid. That means power will come up immediately. So definitely, that will work. And I think um, the the new power power bill is taking care of that. All right, financial analyst Mukhtar Mohamed, the CEO of Ashir Dynamic Solution. Thank you so much for your time with us. My pleasure. Thank you.